Um, I just want to make sure that you have proper form when you're doing it. You can show it to you from two separate angles and also the regular way and then the modified way. So you want to place your hands right in line with your shoulders. So your chest should be in between your hands. Okay? Then you want to drop down low, come back up. Now to modify, you would just drop your knees. So from the side, it looks like this. Remember chest in between your hands. couch you just want something that's um, uh, raised uh, so you're going to get into a push-up position you're gonna come down to the bottom pulse two times and then push straight back up so down pulse two times up Dumbbell lateral raise to single arm cross front raise. Okay, weights in your hands. You're gonna raise them up to the side and then bring them back down. You're gonna cross body front raise. So up, side raise, and then raise them up. Make sure that you do not uh, bend your elbows. Nice and slow and controlled. Elevated up and down plank. So you want to be at an elevated surface or incline. And you're going to do an up and down plank. Drop to your elbows, up to your hands. So if you have a weighted plate, you'll use that. If not, you'll just use a regular dumbbell. So you're just going to bring the weight up and down. Shoulder level. Okay. Steering wheel with plate uh, with a five second twist. So if you have a weighted plate, you'll use that. If not, just use your dumbbell. So you're going to do a front raise and then you're going to twist here for five seconds. to bring the soles of your feet together and you're going to drive your knees up toward your armpits and back down. So you want to lift that butt off the floor. This will work your lower abs. Five sets of five with five second pulse. 
So you're gonna lie down, legs straight up in a V, weight right behind your head. You're going to bring the weight up in between five times, two, three, four, five, and then you'll pulse here. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll go again for five rounds, doing five reps with a five pulse at the end of each set. Come on your side, elbow on the ground. You want your elbow to be right underneath your shoulder. Legs extended out. And you're going to lift your body off the floor. You can either place your hands on your hip or straight up. Now, for a modified version, you'll bend your bottom leg and stay up like this. So you want your entire body to be in line with one another. Don't have your lower body out forward or back. So a nice straight line with your body. Then you'll do the same on the other side. So you're going to come on your side, elbow on the ground. You want your elbow to be right underneath your shoulder. Legs extended out. And you're going to lift your body off the floor. You can either place your hands on your hip or straight up. Now, for a modified version, you'll bend your bottom leg and stay up like this. So you want your entire body to be in line with one another. Don't have your lower body out forward or back. So a nice straight line with your body. Then you'll do the same on the other side. Oblique crunches. So you're going to lay on your side, hands behind your head, and you're going to bring your elbow to your knee and crunch. Then you make sure you do the same amount on the other side. Crunches. So you're going to lay on your side, hands behind your head, and you're going to bring your elbow to your knee and crunch. Then you make sure you do the same amount on the other side. curl ups. So you're gonna lie down on your mat. You want your knees bent, hands behind your head. You're going to bring one knee up and you're going to join it with your opposite elbow. And then you'll alternate. So it looks like this. Make sure to press that back into the floor. Don't allow your back to arch. And keep those abs nice and tight. So, you're going to come on your side, elbow on the ground. You want your elbow to be right underneath your shoulder. Legs extended out. And you're going to lift your body off the floor. You can either place your hands on your hip or straight up. Now, for a modified version, you'll bend your bottom leg and stay up like this. So you want your entire body to be in line with one another. Don't have your lower body out forward or back. So a nice straight line with your body. Then you'll do the same on the other side. Single leg knee in. So you're going to twist your torso and you wanna hold your knee Place one arm around your knee. The other one can either be on the floor or you can just leave it up. You want to extend your other leg and drive it in toward your chest, in and out. All while keeping your torso twisted. So for a little bit of assistance with balance, you'll place your hammer on the floor. And then you'll do the same amount on the other side.
come on your side, elbow on the ground. You want your elbow to be right underneath your shoulder, legs extended out, and you're going to lift your body off the floor. You can either place your hands on your hip or straight up. Now, for a modified version, you'll bend your bottom leg and stay up like this. So you want your entire body to be in line with one another. Don't have your lower body out forward or back. So a nice straight line with your body. Then you'll do the same on the other side. Single leg knee in. So you're going to twist your torso and you wanna hold your knee. Place one arm around your knee. The other one can either be on the floor or you can just leave it up. You wanna extend your other leg and drive it in toward your chest. In and out, all while keeping your torso twisted. So for a little bit of assistance with balance, you'll place your hand on the floor. And then you'll do the same amount on the other side. Twist with arm extension. So you want to hold the horns of the kettlebell, which is like the sides of the kettlebell. You're going to turn them upside down, feet together, and then you're going to turn to the side and twist and kind of like um, extend your arm out and lift the kettlebell out. Twist and extend out. Extend. Twist and extend your arm. Superwoman pulses. So you're gonna lie down on your stomach, extend your arms out. You're going to raise your arms and your legs all the way up, squeeze that lower back, back down. So up and squeeze, down. Up and squeeze, down. So come up as far as you can. Cobra push. So you're going to lie down on your stomach, hands by your chest, and you're just going to push up as far as you can and back down. Push up, this will work your lower back, 